remember, um, Tom Arnold, you guys are in a good place? No. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Her ex-husband, Tom Arnold, remember they were married for a moment and he was given the assignment from the Hollywood Reporter to review Roseanne's debut last night. Oh. The shade and of it all. That is so, it may, you know, I was like, oh my God, after, well, I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. After I guess they're gonna get Harvey Weinstein to review uh, Rose McGowan's next show. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out Tom didn't give it to you bad. Oh, I didn't read it. Well, I, I don't did. like talking about husbands, right, Wendy? Well, I don't mind talking about husbands. I don't mind, he's fabulous. Okay. Um, Roseanne, Roseanne has done. Where do you think nonviolent offenders need to go? Well, listen, I mean, we got some nonviolent drug offenders in this room right now. So, look, I, you know, let's be honest. Let's be honest. There's a lot of people who are doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. Addicted to based on your nasal passages and all these days you're missing at work. And going okay. in and out of the bathroom right while I'm here okay. in the studio. As I told you, I've never used New York City, are my you following life. me? Listen, I never used cocaine. Now, let's talk about fueling your stuff. You, on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to cocaine. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms you know, coming? These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing up. And I did Secondly, aphrin, and I did you, aphrin. This eternal cold that you continue to have. Yes, oh that yes. you can't have to come to work. Because every other okay. week, now you're even stupid so low as to blame it on your baby, your newborn. How oh, low can you get? Gosh. That's about as low as you can get to blame your child oh, for your cocaine gosh. addiction. He was saying that I was doing Dancing with the Stars and like they never asked me, so yeah. I, I don't know why they did that. Would you? Um, probably like ten years. In ten years? Well, not ten years, but I feel like you should be on Dancing with the Stars when you fall off. Oh, when you fall off? So I don't know. I only say that. Oh no, you were on it. Yeah, yes. Jan, um, so there's a rumor that Janet um, uh, was go might be the new judge on X Factor. Has she talked to you about it? No. There are lots of rumors, as you know. They said I was going to be. They said so many people. I, so I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. I think that um, anybody in the Jackson family could make a good judge on the, on the X Factor. I really believe that because the family knows, knows the business, yeah. knows the music. Yeah. Because you said, oh, Latoya would make a great judge, but Latoya does no music. Now, what makes you think Latoya I know that you know music. Yeah. I just yeah. said, I yeah. just said that you weren't able to maybe hit the notes no, that no, a lot no, of people, no. that, but, no, but you know, could give us all no, this, I and that's, music, that's entertaining. And, and, and I definitely would. <laughs> what you don't know is that in 84, see, I'm, get, I'm catching her. Yeah. Yeah. That was nominated for a Grammy. Oh, uh, right for Jimmy Cliff, Reggae Nights. Have you heard the Reggae Nights? No. Yeah, it was re the biggest song. No, really, it really was all over Europe. Actually, Reggae Nights, and then in 80, 85, I won for a cliffhanger. Is that what? Do you regret Diane Sawyer interview? No. Why should I? Well, it didn't exactly show you in the best light. You don't think so? Well, you don't end it. You don't show yourself in the best light. People still listen to you. Yeah, but I'm on the radio every day. Yeah, we, see, we, don't, we just don't get to see your face, but they should know what you look like. I understand that. But I watch, you know, because you and your wife, excuse me, your soon-to-be ex-wife. Well, we'll get into that in just a moment. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one thing at a time. <laughs> but they are getting a divorce. The divorce is not finalized. You still wear your ring. You got something on your hand, too, so I ain't talking about No, that. this is not. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We, we talk about Jeremy. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. <laughs>